Factoring easy-ish trinomials. We call these easy trinomials because there is no number next to the x squared term. This x squared has no coefficient. Three terms, an x squared with no coefficient, trinomial, easy trinomial. Let's do some reverse engineering to discover this factoring technique. Here we've got two factors, x plus two times x plus six. Let's distribute this out. Doing that, we're gonna get x times x, x squared, plus x times six, six x, plus two times x, two x, plus two times six, 12. Let's combine these like terms here, and that's gonna give us x squared plus eight x plus 12. Now check this out, if we add 6x plus 2x to get 8, that's 2 plus 6 to give us 8, and multiply those same numbers, 2 times 6, we're going to get 12. And that's what we're looking for when we factor. We want to find factors of c, what two numbers multiply to equal c, that add to equal b. And then our answer is going to be x plus factor 1 times x plus factor 2. So using that technique, let's see if we can factor x squared plus 8x plus 12. First, we want to find factors of c, that's 12, that add to give us 8. All right, first factors of 12, well, 1 times 12 is equal to 12, but 1 plus 12 is equal to 13. That's not 8, so these are no good. What's another factor of 12? Well, how about two times six? Two times six equals 12, and two plus six is eight. Bingo, we have our answer. Okay, now we take these two factors and do x plus factor one, x plus two, and x plus factor two, six. And this is going to be our factored answer. And we can see that's exactly where we started when we distributed this out. So great. Oh gosh, spider. Spider. Let's go ahead and try factoring this one. x squared plus 7x plus 10. We want factors of 10 that add to 7. So first, factors of 10 are 1 times 10. But 1 plus 10 is 11, so that's no good. Next factors of 10 are 2 times 5 equals 10, and 2 plus 5 equals 7. Perfect! Now our answer is just going to be x plus 2 and x plus 5. All right, here we want factors of 16 that add to negative 8. So my first factors of 16 are 1 times 16, but 16 plus 1 is 17. Now, I do want you to take notice of something here. This b term is a negative 8. If we add two positive numbers, we're never going to get a negative. So what we can do here is start multiplying negatives together. Now, negative 1 times negative 16 is positive 16, and negative 1 plus negative 16 is going to give us a negative number. Even though it's not negative 8, we're still in the right direction. So let's move on to our next factors. Negative two times negative eight is 16, but negative two times, ne sorry, negative two plus negative eight is negative 10. No good. Next, we've got negative four times negative four, that's 16, and negative four plus negative four is negative eight, exactly what we want. Since we found our factors, we can just put those in, x minus four times x minus four. How about y squared plus 2y minus 15? We want factors of negative 15 now that add to 2. Now when we're looking for factors of a negative number, one of them's got to be negative. For example, negative 1 times 15. That will give us negative 15. But negative 1 plus 15 is definitely not 2. Now check this out. Instead of negative 1 and positive 15, we can do 1 times negative 15. That's also negative 15. Now we can do 1 plus negative 15. Again, that's not going to give us what we want. But you can see that we have two options where the positive and the negative go. How about 3 times negative 5? That equals negative 15, but 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. And we want a positive 2. So that's no good. How about negative 3 times positive 5? That's also negative 15. And then negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. And we got it. And our final factored answer is y minus 3 
and Y plus 5. One cool thing about these is once you get the hang of it, they can go really fast. For example, I know that 4 times 5 is 20 and 4 plus 5 is 9. That can bring me right to my answer of x plus 4 times x plus 5. Likewise, x squared plus x minus 12, I know 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and 4 plus negative 3 is 1. And that would give me x plus 4, x minus 3. So as you get the hang of it, these will go really quicker and you don't have to spend so much time listing factors. And a last thing before I go, just to remind you that multiplication is commutative, which means you could switch the order. So x plus 4 times x plus 5 would be the same as x plus 5 times x plus 4. Same thing over here. We could have written this x minus 3 times x plus 4, and we would still be good to go. Have fun factoring, my friends.